everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Becca and today we are going plant shopping to be completely honest with you this is my first time going plant shopping since the pandemic and I'm just having a really stir crazy day and I would really like to get out of the house I'm going to be going to Mesquite Valley growers which is a massive nursery not far from my house so with all that being said let's go I am back home from the nursery and I want to show you some of the things that I picked up. It was definitely not a heavy plant shopping day, although it definitely could have been. I'm trying not to buy plants right now just for a lot of different reasons, but I did find these two plants which I have been thinking about for a while and since they're so common and easy I felt like it would be fine. So I got some curly spider plants. They were $6 each. I used to have a very large curly spider plant. I decided to start over because I have two like four inch pots on my TV stand that need a plant. So I figured I would put these two in there and if in the case I don't like it or I move or something like that, that would make a really cute gift for someone. So I got these two. I got some soil additives because I figured while I was there, I might as well. I don't think that I'll be going plant shopping again for quite a while. So this is some pumice. I have shown you guys this many times. I have made my soil mixture on camera a few times. So this is something that I use. I prefer pumice to perlite because pumice doesn't float to the top. Pumice is basically just like a rock. And I feel like this just provides a lot more drainage for plants. So I picked up some of this. Whoa. Another soil medium that I got was cocoa chips. And I have previously purchased a cocoa block. Ugh, I don't, I just don't like it. <laughs> I have a lot of trouble with it. It takes a really long time to chip away at. And when I bought that, I was actually hoping for the chips, like cocoa chips, but I ended up buying a cocoa block on accident. But I picked this one up and you can't really see because there's like plastic over it. It's a little bit more chippy, a little bit more thick, if you will. Okay, and the last thing that I got, which to me, I know that I'd probably need to do like a sweeping spray of just something in my home. 
because as we're familiar, whoa, as we're familiar, spider mites love to show up in my house and I've been looking for something locally. So I did find the Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew and I would like to try that in the future, but I asked the person who was working what would be best to kill spider mites because that is what I get all the time. And they suggested this. So although it says rose and flower, they said that it would work for other types of bugs. And I also did just recently buy like a really big bottle of eight. So between these two, we'll see what works, but I'm just kind of experimenting, just seeing what's what. I am wanting to send some plants to other people and I want to treat them before I do that, just in case they have spider mites or something, because that would really suck to give a friend spider mites. <laughs> so anyway, that was all for today's adventure. Thank you so much for joining me on this little field trip to one of my favorite spots. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you're having a beautiful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.